Hello everyone, and welcome to my walkthrough of Scarface The World Is Yours. This is the first part of this. A lot of people have requested this. I told you guys I would do this game next after Max Payne 3. And this game, it follows the movie, and this is actually kind of a sequel to the movie. The game actually takes place right at the end of the movie. And if you saw the movie, if you saw Scarface, you have to play this game. There's not too many games that are based on movies that are good, but this is actually one of the best games I ever played. This game came out in 2006, and it's a really, really awesome game. So, if you've seen the movie, but you've never seen this game, when you see the first part of this game, you're gonna be really shocked and you're not gonna believe what happens, but great, amazing game, one of the best gangster games I ever played. So let's get started with this. This game also has one of the best intros I've ever seen. Let's get started. This guy right here, the Skull, this is the guy who kills Tony in the movie, um, Sosa's personal hitman. We just changed Tony's fate, and here's his sister dead. Okay. Tony is now in blind rage. While enraged, Tony's invincible. Also, ammo is unlimited and your health will increase every kill. To go into blind rage, press and hold B when the rage meter is full. Tony, come on, man! Jesus Christ, they're everywhere! We got your car out in front, but the entry collapsed, so we couldn't get to you! We can use the underground passage to the backyard and then to your car! Fucking go, man! Let's go! Every day about above ground is a good day. Okay. This way! This way! Over here, bro! You guys recognize that card? That's the Stafford in GTA. That's actually where it was added from Scarface. Cops are coming, get here, limo before it is destroyed. You have to go around the mansion. Okay. Yeah, 
pony did have a tiger, but I wonder how it got loose because it was chained in the movie. These guys are a, a Bolivian cartel, and the whole reason that they're going after Tony is because... ...because he was supposed to take out this guy at the United Nations that was supposed to give a speech against um, drug cartels. And there was a bomb in the guy's car, but there was kids in the car, and he didn't want to detonate the car, and the guy gave the speech. And then Sosa, the boss, blamed him for it. Well, that is the first part. I hope that you guys are enjoying it. And you see that 65 million number right there? That actually represents how much money the movie actually made. How much the Scarface movie actually made, so kind of an easter egg there. But um, I'll have the next part up for you guys as soon as possible. But um, people that saw the movie didn't play the game, we just changed Tony's fate. Because in the movie, spoilers, sure you heard me say it before, but he dies at the end of the movie. So in this one, he actually survives and goes after the people that um, wronged him. So we're going to be having a lot of fun with this game. I hope that you guys are enjoying this.